Hey friends, it's Stephen Well. Hey. Good morning. In June of this year, we undertook a solar project on our truck camper. So we've had, we kind of, each week we put out an episode as we walked like through the project. And I think the most common question was not a technical question. The most common question has been, how much did it cost and would you do it again? So here's what I can tell you right this second. Noelle has not seen the final numbers. It's on the laptop right yep. in front of us, but it's covered by a piece of paper. I, we added yeah. up lots of receipts. As we went through the project, uh, well, I guess the backstory, we got a quote from AM Solar of how much it would cost for us to do the project versus them to do the project. Since my memory isn't good, I'm going to look at my spreadsheet and cheat. So for, look. don't look. <laughs> so for DIY, so just for parts, we're looking at $2,170. What that got us was a rooftop combiner box. Let's take it our got glasses. Us, there you <laughs> go. It got us a uh, solar, one more solar panel, two more solar panels, excuse me, a inverter, a solar charge converter, and a bunch of wires and connections. So $2,170 for a DIY project. I started looking at some of the components and went, oh, this looks maybe more than what I want to do. So I asked for a quote for labor. So labor for our project was quoted at $3,370.55. Based on that, I decided I'd put my brain to work and try to do this myself. Kind of with the understanding that we talked about in the beginning, like if I got in too deep, I would literally like, <laughs> drive this up to AM Solar and they could finish. So AM Solar, they quoted their time at $145 per hour. Remember that it's going to come back to further discussion. So as we got going in the project, what we found, I don't know a good way you to keep put saying this. We, but it's yeah. all you. I don't know a good way to put this. Here's my impression from AM Solar. I think they have like a, a master database where someone says, hey, I've got a truck camper. And then they just like pull down components based on what you tell them you want to do for your solar configuration. So what I told them was I wanted to have 300 watts. I had 120 on the roof and I had pre-existing wiring. So that is what I believe they based the quote on, which is fair. It's the information that I told them. But the reality was different. And this is where I think some of my frustration with AM Solar came in. I didn't have any experience with this kind of project. They did, or they said they did with a lot of truck campers. Once we got into this, they found out, well, our existing charge controller couldn't actually handle anything above 180 watts. So it had to go and the existing wiring had to go. So as far as taking advantage of anything in the truck camper that was pre-wired, it all went out the window. We didn't take advantage of any of it. So we started this loop of me running to the store, uh, electric store to buy more parts or me when I couldn't find the parts or if they were very specific parts, placing another th order through AM Solar. So they were very responsive. They, they were crazy responsive. I, I can't say anything negative about their responsiveness. They were generally pretty quick to respond. But how so, much did it cost? We're you're, getting there. You're telling a long story. I am. So <laughs> additional trips to the store. We have 19 trips. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> additional orders, separate orders from AM Solar. We have three. The additional orders when we went and picked up parts came out to $763.67. The additional parts we purchased from AM Solar came out to $223. So combined, we're at about 1200 bucks approximately that we spent on additional parts. So if we go back to our original DIY quote of 2170, adding other parts to that, and then on top of that, I had to add an RV park because we had to have somewhere to work on this. That was a challenge for us. Truth be told, when we started working, where our plan for working on this project was we were going to do it at friends or at family's house, houses this summer. We've kind of came floating into town like in May. 
this was a unseasonably wet spring. So we did not get started on this until after all of the goodness of our family had worn out. <laughs> so our family was like, like, go away. <laughs> just leave. They weren't, but but we can't really mooch dot forever. forever. Yeah. So we ended up... We jumped around kids and yeah. sister's house, but... We ended up paying for, we're, we're guessing, 30 nights at an RV park at $30 per night. So that's an additional 900 bucks. So, grand total. If we had... I'm going to put my glasses we, on. Yeah. So for us doing the work and buying all the extra stuff, total spent $4,398. AM Solar, for them to do it, and I added in parts, extra parts that they uh, would have had to purchase as well. So for them to do it, $6,120.55. So the difference between those two or our savings by us doing the project, $1,721, some odd cents. So how long would it have taken AM Solar to do this project? Their original bid was for roughly 23 hours. I added four hours because they know what they're doing and the extra wiring that they would have had to do. So I'm guessing four hours. So coming down to it, their total time investment, guessing again, 28 hours. I'm guessing here, because I didn't run like a stopwatch on myself, I'm guessing my time spent on the project is 120 hours. That's labor time. That doesn't count the time when I sat around and drank beer and cursed. Doesn't count the time that you missed kayaking with family. Yeah. So I think the question was, what is your time worth? I can tell you my time was worth $14.34 per hour. So that's what I got paid per hour to do the solar project. <laughs> what? Did you save $1,700? Yeah. So I guess the question is, would I do it again? No. Yes, I would. I think this was a, it's a vicious, viciously steep learning curve on what we're doing with like a solar. So for me, a lot of this was, was brand new. I haven't messed around with inverters or charge controllers or anything like that before. So much of this was just straight up learning on my part. If I were to do this exact project again, I would think second time around, I would cut my time in half. I would say it would take me 60 hours instead of 120. So yeah. What? I'm trying to keep like a neutral face, but I'm probably not. Why? <laughs> You could do it in half the time. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Well, I know exactly what to do here. I know where yeah, to Yeah, but run you the wouldn't wires. be doing this exact same thing again. Oh, so it's kind of a mute point. No, I don't think so. I think that there's some learning. Yeah, okay. If I had to do it on a different system where I had to learn to run the wires somewhere else, well, then, yeah. But some of the learning here, it was things I'd never done before running wires. Good so for you. thank you. So, would I do it again? Yes. I think what I would do differently, uh, I would be just an anal son of a gun up front in talking with AM Solar to really make sure I understood every single step of the project before I started. I think what I focused on was making sure I understood each step as I went through the process because it was kind of, we're building something in series here. So I focused on step one and then Often when I finished step one and I moved to the next step, I'd find out, hey, I'm missing parts or something's not in the schematic. So I think if I was doing it again, I would really buckle down in the beginning. Like I need to go through the entire project and make sure I understand every single part that I'm going to put in here, every single part that is going to be required. I think there was a lot of assumed parts that I would have that I did not have. Like when we got into the, the thicker gauge wires, like six gauge, eight gauge, I didn't have the, the lugs for those. So it, I ended up doing a lot of runs to the store buying those kinds of things. So if you're thinking of doing this, I would really recommend have somewhere where you can start, start and finish the project all in one place, uh, where you can power the, power the whole thing down for a week. For us still living in here, Every day, 
you know, at the end of the day, my goal was get us back to having power so everything in here works. So there's a lot of work around because taking... Because we were over 100 degrees and we needed air conditioning. Yeah, so there's a lot of work yeah. of taking apart, putting back together every day that you wouldn't have to do if you can just take everything apart. Focus on the project. Focus and sleep somewhere else. So there you go. That's our, our numbers for how much it cost us. So you said a whole lot of stuff, but just say... How much did AM Solar bid you? Go ahead. It's right, no. it's right there. Well, I don't really know exactly what AM it Solar is. bid $5,450. Okay. How much did it cost you? $5,540. Uh, total it cost us was 4398 So you say... No, actually, no. So they bid, but there's other parts that got added in. So okay. let's say AM Solar, they did everything, $6,100. I see what you're saying. For us, if we when we did everything approximately $4,400. Okay, so you saved about $1,720. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm.